What's up, Brunswick County? This month on Brunswick Biz, we're here in Chalote at Seasons of Scarlet. And then we'll head to Main Street to visit Homestyle Foods. And lastly, we'll go to Sunset Beach to visit Pelican Bookstore. So stay with us. This is Brunswick Biz, connecting Brunswick County one business at a time. Denise Babson is the owner of Seasons of Scarlet, located here on Holden Beach Road in Shalot. Thanks so much for being with us. Well, thank you for coming. We appreciate that. So this is a very unique shop. You have clothing, home decor, a salon, uh, antique furniture, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so why did you decide to open this shop? I know that you have a background in interior design, and that's your passion. So tell me about it. Well, um, I guess my main background was was have a salon owner and doing hair for many years. But um, I think a lot of times people who are um, creative always have other creative things hidden that they want to evolve or work on. Mm -hmm. And um, I just decided to um, expand on my talents, my God-given gifts, especially at this age. You know, I'm in my early 50s. I decided that if I was ever going to do anything new, that it was time and so therefore, I came here. Diana, who owns the house, um, asked me, well, she, she suggested I come because she loved my home and my decor, and um, she loved me. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am, and a year later, we did a lot of hard work to move in here. My husband and I renovated the house, and um, we did actually flooring. We made flooring from plywood. We um, put barn doors in. We did all the decor. Um, colors and it, to me that's just it was a labor of love one of my passions is decorating interior design and I am trying to expand on that and maybe um, and also still have this lawn here so I kind of am doing a transition although I still do hair I still work three days a week as a hairdresser but um, you know, I do both. I wear a lot of hats. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. this was Diana's income tax service. That's right. Maybe she moved her shop next door. That's right. So that's pretty cool that she believed in you to give you the space to really work your magic. That's right. And it looks great. I think it's, it's so special you come in here and you can see how you've done it up. And um, Tell me about the name, Seasons um, of Scarlet. But that's the story behind that. Um, so Seasons of Scarlet, the name just came to me through prayer. And... Um, time spent with the Lord and I just felt led to this business, number one. And secondly, the name just uh, appealed to me. Um, the Seasons of Scarlet, Seasons coming from Ecclesiastes, from the Bible and Scarlet, really representing the blood of Jesus. You know, that's where my name came from. And although different, um, I stuck with it, you know, um, rather than having something in my name because I wanted it to be not about me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted it really to be kind of a ministry. Um, and through that, it's just grown into a lot of different things. Um, I've just decided that the reason I just decided that everything, it didn't matter what it was, I wanted it to be beautiful here. You know, um, whether it be a person having their hair done or um, decor. Uh, so to me, beauty doesn't have to be new. Mm -hmm. um, it, and the, it can be beauty and beauty is in many forms. Mm -hmm. And some things are old and ha are cherished things um, that people put a lot of work in. So, you know, to me, that's beauty. So it all it all works together. Mm -hmm. It's cohesive to me, you know, you um, the clothing, the, the decor, beauty, like I said, it comes in all forms. And I just like to represent many of those forms. And you see that when you come to the shop. Thank There's you. all kinds of different stuff. There's local artisans that right. put their stuff uh, in here. Tell me about those. Well, we probably have about 18, maybe uh, 15 to 18 local people. A few of those are just people who have collected antiques over the years. Okay. And, um, the, and so if it's very tasteful and it's something beautiful, I'm interested in that. Um, but a lot of things are like, we have pottery from two different, three different potters. Um, well, actually, one person actually it's hand built pottery, and she paints. She actually imprints like collard leaves and um, wow. elephant ears into her pottery. <laughs> so um, she, we have that. We also have a lady who makes rugs from sheets that are washable and very affordable. I mean, she just it's a. 
I, what I tend to gravitate toward are people who just love their craft. You know, they just love it. They have a passion mm -hmm. and a gift for it. So I just, I try, I try to find those people. Actually, they find me. <laughs> and um, I try to be selective in that. But um, like, I, like you said, we have many people, quite a few people. And I try to grow kind of slowly and be sure of who uh, we want to be in the shop. How about the um, different kinds of furniture and home decor that you have? I know you have vintage items and uh, all sorts of different furniture. Right. Um, I've always, I think I've always been drawn to vintage. I, I lived with my great grandmother a long time when I was growing up after her husband passed away. So she had a beautiful older house. So I've always been drawn to that. So I do love the vintage and I love the craftsmanship that's done with those things. But mm -hmm. I also love to incorporate new things, okay. you know, because I think it can work together if it's done tastefully. Absolutely. Yeah, one example is this table that we're sitting at. I know it's just sold. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody saw the beauty in it themselves. Right away, yeah. Uh, but tell me about kind of where this came from. Well, um, I go to estate sales um, wow. and I go to auctions at different places. My husband and I, that's become kind of a, a new thing we've, we've learned to do, which we enjoy. And um, this came from one of those, I'm not sure, you know, who the owner was, but I know that they had good taste. <laughs> and um, they tend to have, some of the ones we found to go to, have just amazing things, you know, and mm -hmm. I love the variety when you go. So that's basically, um, we mostly get things from estate auctions. We do buy some things from individuals, you know, if they happen to have something that's, like I said, fits the criteria that we've talked about, that's, we go with that as well. So you know where to look, and you bring it right here to Seasons of Scarlet for right. everybody to come see. That's right. And then the salon, of course, you said that you, your background was in hair. Right. What was the decision to bring that into a clothing and decor store? That's something I've never seen before. Well, because <laughs> I needed an income to, until I got my business going. <laughs> and I still love to do hair. Um, I have a pretty nice clientele. I, I haven't taken new customers in a few years. Um, I'm not able to, and so therefore we hired Michaela. She she works as well in the salon. And two, uh, just because I couldn't be two places. You know, if I, I had a, another salon, mm -hmm. I had to I had to move here, which has is, is worked well, and I have not missed my other shop. I guess I've been so busy I haven't <laughs> missed it, but um, it's just been, it's, it's worked well together, and I just change hats as I walk through that door from the salon to the boutique. <laughs> yeah, and it's great because uh, you can come get your hair cut, you know, come in every month or so, and there'll be something new in the shop that you get That's to right, see. Absolutely. So that works out perfect. And that was uh, kind of planned. You know, yeah. I was, that was thinking on the, along those lines. So it's like an added <laughs> bonus <laughs> to right. get your, get your yeah. hair done. Uh, as we wrap up, uh, where are y'all located again? How can they get in touch with you? Um, we're at 280 Holden Beach Road, and um, that's Shalote, North Carolina. That's right. And uh, the phone number is 910-754-3322. Mm -hmm. And um, we're typically open Tuesday through Saturday, about 10 to 5, sometimes 6. Our hours have extended some now that summer okay. is here and it's lighter, longer. Um, so there you go. And let me mention, too, we also have one of my other ladies in the other room. She, um, she has antiques as well. That's her personal okay. room of antiques. So we have that. So something else to check out when you come. Yes. And you're on Facebook as well. Yes, we are. So you can keep in touch with what's new and in, in the shop on there. That's right. Ask any questions. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. ATMC Security is changing the way you connect with your home, making it safer, smarter, and more efficient. Now you can manage your home wherever you are with a single app. Lights, locks, thermostats, 24-hour security monitoring, and more, which means you always come back to a safe, comfortable home. Monitoring services start as low as $17.95 per month. Make your home a smart home with ATMC Security. ATMC offers internet speeds up to one gigabit per second, but we like to call it Gigabunch because now you can download a bunch more songs, 
stream a bunch more movies, play a bunch more games, and use a bunch more devices, all without losing any speed. And when you build your own bundle with high-speed internet, digital cable, reliable home phone, and ATMC security with smart home solutions, you save a bunch. Build your bundle today with ATMC. Stay connected with your community channel. Like ATMC TV on Facebook today. I'm with Pat Funigello at Homestyle Foods, which is located right here in Charlotte. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So Pat, tell us about this business. It's uh, been, this location has been under several different names that people have known yeah. as through the years, but you purchased it a little over a year ago. So tell us about your journey and where you started when you came Well, here. I've, I've been in the diner business and food business and mm -hmm. golf business. But uh, this is kind of like one of my favorite businesses because you get to sit people down and talk to them for about, you know, half hour or so. And you find out about people. And, and that's the most important thing in my life is finding out about people. And, you know, it's just, it's a great business. It's just a little bit too far from where I live. <laughs> okay, because you live in Hampstead. Yeah. And you're just, just telling me that you drive here every day because you love this restaurant and uh, this business. Yeah, you know, there's some things about it that aren't quite as nice, but the, the, the customers, and the, it's, it's, it's good. You know, I mean, it's a tremendous commitment on my part, and I've got uh, really good quality help, and they've been with me now a pretty long time. We haven't been changing up for a while, so that's a good thing. Okay, tell me about what you offer here. Uh, you know, it's breakfast and lunch. What do you specialize in? Well, what are people getting when they come here? Well, to be honest with you, we do a really strong breakfast. Uh, we got breakfast special. It's two eggs, toast. Uh, drink and uh, some kind of meat, uh, countries or sausage or anything like that. It's like six bucks, and it's cheap, and it's good cooked to order. Uh, it's nothing's prepared ahead of time. Uh, lunch is a little bit more of a challenge. We do uh, burgers for lunch. We uh, we try to do some uh, dinner specials. Uh, we we bread our own fish. Uh, we do a hamburger steak. Uh, we've done fried chicken. I even did lasagna. That's kind of one of my fortes doing lasagna. People liked it, but. Uh, uh, we're trying to stick more towards country food. We make uh, mm -hmm. great homemade biscuits. Teresa's in here five o'clock in the morning making biscuits. And okay. uh, you know, take it from a Yankee, they're pretty good biscuits. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, me and uh, my manager, Aaron, who's behind the camera, we've been here I know, on Mondays and you have the uh, country, is it like a meatloaf, I think, on Mondays? Meatloaf Mondays, yes, yeah, meatloaf it was meatloaf. Mondays. We haven't really done that lately. We just, okay. Teresa's been trying different things. Okay. So, so there's a rotating yeah. uh, variety of specials. That yeah, she we've has. done. She's done everything from uh, beef stew to uh, she did a fish dinner for a while. It's just you know, I mean, if you're eating at home, you don't eat the same thing every Monday. You know, I mean, That's right. you don't want to have those manic Mondays. Right. So people they'll come in and may see something that they haven't tried and give it a try. Isn't that right? Right. Hopefully, yeah. And we do uh, all our hamburgers are handmade. We make them to order. Um, or a six ounce burger, uh, French fries, it's like six bucks. I mean, it's 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 cheap. Yes, yeah, so the food is definitely home style and that's what you're going for. Uh, I wanted to ask about the changes that you've made uh, since taking this restaurant over, because it was Old Shally Diner before, but now it's home style foods. Kind of what have you brought to the table in those? Well, I, I brought my buying expertise if you want to, <laughs> uh, I, I, and I know good food, uh, I like I say, there's a different uh, selection of employees that are serving the customers. Uh, I like to think I brought it back to where it was. It was TK's because it was a, it was a local hotspot, local place for people mm -hmm. to eat, and that's that's what I want. I want local people. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't want the tourists, but it's just yeah. the, the local people who give it a flavor, and it's you know uh -huh. I can go through a list of people like I told you that come in here every morning, and it's kind of nice. It's kind of like our extended family. Yeah, and uh, you talk about you know the visitors. You know, it's summertime, you have visitors coming to you know, Ocean Isle, Holden Beach, they're close by. You know, why not you know, experience what it's like to you know, be local, maybe stop in and just say hi and have a nice local breakfast right here on Main Street in Chalot. And it's kind of nice, you know, Teresa, she's a great cook. Her coleslaw is like phenomenal. Her pulled pork is good. It's 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 homemade. It's I mean, we make it here, but it's she makes it like she was cooking it for her family. It's it's. I'm gonna say her biscuits are phenomenal. I'll say it again. I, you know, I mean, I, I don't, you know, I haven't had that many different biscuits, homemade biscuits. I mean, but uh, the ones I've had are uh, they're not the same as a homemade biscuit. So, I, you know, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Don't tell Personally. my wife. <laughs> 
biscuits and gravy. Her oh. sausage gravy is phenomenal. Oh my God. She drives me crazy with that. I can't go by, I can't go by, we'll put a little, you know, a little souffle cup and put, you know. But, so it's, it, her biscuits and gravy are good. They're really good, so. Uh, Pat, what do you foresee in the future for your business? Well, I'd like to expand, maybe do some, maybe do some dinner menus, maybe open on Sunday. Okay. You know, I'm only open Monday through Saturday. We open at six to two o'clock. Uh, but you want to you want to steer the ship so that when you get there, you have the right people doing the right things. Because you know, obviously, we're a customer oriented business, and we want to make sure that we please the customer because that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, you've also brought a deli to Homestyle Foods, which is one of the changes you've implemented. There's not really too many delis in Shalot proper, so this is a unique part of your business. Well, we're, we're trying to build it. It's uh, I, I, I'm not sure that uh, my clientele really is looking for a deli. Yeah. Um, I think it's more like a northern thing. But what I can bring to the table is uh, uh, we're cooking our own roast beef and our own turkey, and we're cooking our own corned beef. So when you get a Reuben, for example, it's, it's made on corned beef that isn't in a package that somebody right. opens up. We take it and we cook it in the stove, you know, or, or the roast beef, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's what they call an inside round. I actually trim it and cook it and try to cook it to 125, you know, so it's a little rare in the middle. Uh, and it's, it's, it's got a different, not only does it have a different flavor profile, but it also has a different chew. And the turkey, well, I, I, I always like to tease people about the turkey. I, I want you to taste my turkey. You come in here, I'll let you taste it. <laughs> but you have to close your eyes when you taste my turkey. And now you say, why? Because they give you the piece of turkey and you eat the piece of turkey while your eyes are closed. And I want to ask you, what holiday does it remind you of? Well, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. It reminds you of Thanksgiving. It's that close. <laughs> it's got a different chew. It's, it's cooked yep. from raw. It's Home wonderful. Homestyle foods, right? <laughs> That's, exactly That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, and it's, it's different. Uh, it's different to cook like that. You know, it's... Um, and it's, I, you know, I want to sell the kind of food that I believe in, that I, you know, that, I, that tastes good to me. You know, I, it's not about, I mean, it's always about making money, but it's, it's, it's really about pleasing somebody, giving them something, hey, I had turkey sandwich here. I'm not going anywhere else because that turkey is un, un, unbeatable. Look at that. We got people wanting to come for, for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're looking inside. They'll have to come back in the morning or in the Y'all come back now. Come yeah. back. <laughs> Pat, thank you so much for uh, inviting us here. Uh, before we go, tell our viewers where you're located and how they can get in touch with you. Okay, we're at 5300 South Main Street in Shalot, across from the food line, right next door to Motor Vehicles and the License Bureau. And please come try us out. I think <laughs> you'll be happy. Absolutely. Thanks so much. We are ATMC TV Channel 3 and HD Channel 910, your community channel. AT&T Mobile Share Plan from ATMC and never worry about data again. You can share data on up to 10 devices with no overages and rollover data, all for zero down. Add a new tablet for only $10 a month, and AT&T's new Stream Saver lets you watch more video while using less data. Cool, right? Stop paying too much for data and start sharing. Share only at ATMC, your local authorized AT&T retailer. I'm at Pelican Bookstore here in Sunset Beach with Jack DeGroote. Thanks so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Pel Pelican Bookstore has been open for many years now. Uh, tell us about the history of, of Sunset Beach's only bookstore. Um, we're not sure exactly how long it's been open, but over 25 years, probably inching towards 30. Um, it's been in this location at the Village of Sunset Beach since they opened the, um, they opened the center. Uh, so that's been close to 15 years. Uh, prior to that, it was across the street uh, where the old Food Line Shopping Center is. It was next to a video store for several years there. Uh, Ann Harris bought the bookstore uh, when she retired, and she's been the owner since then, and uh, we've been here. Okay, so you have four people working in the work at the store. That's correct. Now? Um, Ann uh, no longer has a shift. She's taking care of her older okay. siblings who are in their 90s. 
So she is in Valdez a lot, okay. but uh, but she comes and visits. Oh, a lot. Yeah, a lot. she yeah she tries. Okay. She she still has a home at the beach, and uh, okay. uh, Pat Wilson is the manager, and she does a terrific job. She is in charge of uh, everything when Anne's away, and that's pretty much leaves her in charge. Um, and then there's uh, three of us. Uh, there's uh, Suzanne Sauerwine, myself, and Jan. Uh, Jan is uh, new. We we're training her this year, so she's going to okay. be filling in and taking care of. Things for us. So if you stop by, you'll see one of one of y'all. <laughs> That's right. Yes, we each have our our designated days, and then uh, Jan will be filling in this year uh, during the busy hours during the middle of the day. Tell me about what some what y'all offer here. Y'all have a very large selection. I was surprised when I came in. I was like, hey, there's a little bit of everything here yes, for there everybody. Is. Yes. Uh, we all work very hard to keep books in stock, and we pay attention to what our clients want. We all follow blogs and uh, read uh, the different bestseller lists. But we have all of the new arrivals as something comes out. If it comes out on the day, we generally will have it that day. Um, we carry um, hardbacks, paperbacks. Um, we carry a, have a big religious section, a local section. We have new and used books. And what's unique is we have books, used books that are alphabetically categorized, which is very unusual. You hardly ever see that in the used, used books. Uh, we have a very big history section. People come to the book beach and want to read about history. We have romance. We have a lot of women's fiction. Um, anything that any of the book uh, clubs mm -hmm. want, we, we carry those. Um, Can you help people find something that they might want to read if you don't have it in stock or if they oh, come yes. in and they have no idea uh, <laughs> what they want to check out? We do. We, we can do extensive searches, and we have several customers that come in all the time for us to search out uh, books that they've seen either on a talk show or in an old magazine or some kind of thing. We have some that we are ordering books that are uh, very old books, and we have some that are just ordering books that are in different languages or large wow. print. Um, any kind of book that you would be interested in, we can probably track down for you. Okay. And uh, Y'all have children's books too. Uh, that's yes. a pretty big section for uh, everything from you know, elementary school, or, you know, just starting to read all the way through young adult yes. as well. If yes. they're you know, high school kids that have a reading list or mm -hmm. you know, in middle school, you, know, you can help them find what they need. Yes, we, we specialize in children's books really. We, there are a lot of grandparents here who like to send gifts all year long. Mm -hmm. so. We uh, pride ourselves on keeping a tra track of the, the uh, new award winners and uh, the new releases mm -hmm. that are out. Um, the series, there's a lot of series for kids, uh, middle school kids especially. Um, but we have books for beginning readers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have books for middle-aged readers, mm -hmm. you know, middle school. So given the gift of reading. Absolutely, sure. yes. And it's summertime, you know, mm -hmm. getting out of school and you talk about summer reading, you know, they're adults that read during the summer, but making sure that your kids are getting into a book in the summer is pretty oh, important. Yeah, pretty important. And a lot of the kids come with school lists for the next right. year. So we are um, privy to some of these school lists from some of the schools, so we make sure we stock all of those. We also have classics. A lot of classics are, uh, uh, people are asking their kids to read classics during the year. And we have a very good section of classics, which is uh, alphabetical by author, mm -hmm. so. I wanna talk about local authors. Uh, that's a very big part of Pelican Bookstore. Yes, it is. Uh, you're one yourself. You've I written am. Uh, books on uh, Sunset and Ocean Isle Beach as well as fiction. Yes, yes. yes. I've written uh, novels that are set in the local area. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me about how you got involved, you know, with writing. Uh, your background and how how that came to be. Um, when we first moved here, um, my daughter went to a private school in Chalote, and after the school shut down, um, the grade level that she was at, we took her to Wilmington to Cape Fear Academy, and I drove each way. And wow. yeah, um, and the first year I uh, tried to stay there uh, during the during the day, but. Um, you run around, you spend money, you do things. And I said, well, my husband said, you know, we need to not spend so much money while we're in Wilmington during the day. So <laughs> after um, going to all the free places, the galleries and harbors, museums and whatever, I finally said, I've got to find something to do. So I had a friend who was selling his laptop and I bought it from him. <laughs> and uh, that's when I started writing my first book in Wilmington. 
in my car, in my <laughs> in my Pontiac Sunfire convertible, <laughs> plugged in. With all the inspiration <laughs> yes. at the moment. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the really cold days, I plugged into the, uh, this was before Wi-Fi, so they let me <laughs> plug in at the Myrtle Grove Library. <laughs> and I on the cold days. Wow. And I had satellite offices for my bathroom and for coffee at the McDonald's and the Hardee's. <laughs> what was the last book you wrote? The last book I wrote, um, Miller Pope and I, uh, we had an ocean, a beach, an ocean Isle Beach, um, the way things were kind of book about how it was mm -hmm. before the electricity and at the beginning what it was like uh, without phones and things. Yeah, I was checking out the Sunset Beach history mm -hmm. book and it was so fascinating, the photography and it's a lot of great history that uh, especially newcomers to the area yeah. would really be interested in to find out about where they're living yeah. and to really immerse mm -hmm. themselves in that rich history of the area that we live in here in Brunswick County. And y'all also have uh, events with Silver Coast Winery that uh, hosting local authors from uh, here and also in North Carolina that come and uh, y'all do a little like wine tasting and, and mm -hmm. uh, meet and greet with the author. Right, we do. We, we support, uh, we grow, like to grow authors and we like to um, have uh, local authors at the uh, winery, but we have had some really big best-selling authors. Wow. We, uh, we, we've had Karen White and Diane Chamberlain. Um, we've had uh, Wendy Wax and uh, Mary Alice Monroe, Dorothea Benton Frank. Um, we are not, we don't have the space here in the store to accommodate people and we do get several hundred people sometime at some of these events. So we partner with the winery um, so that we can ho host the events okay. there. And we have uh, seven events this year. We have already had four. We have three left, um, but uh, we'll have Lisa Wingate and we'll have Mary Alice Monroe in June. Okay, and we'll have that on the screen for our viewers with the location of Silver Coast Winery so okay. they can find out where that is and go check it out. And yeah. it's uh, 750 for it's admission. It's 750 for admission. It includes a glass of wine and you get to keep the souvenir glass. Mm, cool. And uh, we have refreshments. We have a cheese tasting tray and some crackers and it's just uh, mm -hmm. you get a talk and, and then you aren't obligated to buy the book, but you can buy the book, or if you've bought it previously, you can bring it to have it signed. Oh, that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jack, uh, you also offer more than just books here at the bookstore. Do you have lottery? <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, we have lottery. We have uh, puzzles. Oh, yeah. uh, so if you have a rainy day at the that's beach, right. we have jigsaw puzzles, <laughs> a lot of them. Uh, we have a good selection of cards. Um, we stay on top of the cards. We spend a lot of time getting the right cards in, and some of them are hilarious. It's uh, nice in the afternoon to, to have a group of women come in and read through the cards, and they're all over there just laughing and <laughs> showing the cards over. So. And then there's one line of cards that only four places in North Carolina offer, and Pelican Bookstore is one of them. Tell me about it. Uh, we have the Papyrus uh, franchise here. There's only four locations, Charlotte, Raleigh, I can't remember the other one and us. We're the only one yeah, coastal. It's the only one here. So yes, that's it's what the only one right? here. Yes, yes. And they are beautiful <laughs> cards. If you need a special occasion card, they're perfect. And if you're just going to send someone a, a, a gift card or money, you really need to dress up your card. So oh, yeah. we have some they're Especially beautifully with graduations, embellished. Graduations, high school mm -hmm. graduations. Absolutely. June, Father's Day, all yeah. those events. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Jax, thank you so much for allowing us to come here and check out Pelican Bookstore. Uh, Tell us where you're located again and how our viewers can get in touch with you. Well, we're, we're located on the back side of Food Lion. Okay. <laughs> okay? So we're, bet we're between the two restaurants. We're between the La Cucina Italian restaurant mm -hmm. and at the other end, the Mexican restaurant. Very close by to the ATMC store. Very in close. Beach, uh, that's just right. Just a couple doors down. Uh -huh. so right we're neighbors. Next, <laughs> yep, we're neighbors. And right next door to the Blue Heron, the gift okay. shop. Um, we're very close to the planetarium. so. Um, we're on Chandler's Lane. Okay, so. and you're on Facebook. You have a Facebook page. We have a Facebook page. We page. We have a website. Uh huh. And okay, it'll all be up on the screen for everyone. Right, so. and uh, you can certainly call us. Uh, we're in the phone book. Yep. So, all yeah. right. Thanks so much, Jack. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this month's show. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions for us here on Brunswick Biz, give us a call at 755-1770 or visit atmctv.com. I'm Nathan Evers reminding you to shop local and we'll see you next month on Brunswick Biz, connecting Brunswick County one business at a time.
stay connected with your community channel. Like ATMC TV on Facebook today.